Welcome to the video on the USB 3 Vision camera interface. USB 2 was used for a few machine vision applications and enjoyed widespread use for webcams. It was never standardized for machine vision applications due to its limited bandwidth. With the introduction of USB 3, USB provided the bandwidth needed for machine vision. A big attraction to USB 3 was that it eliminated the need for a frame grabber. Computers came equipped with the necessary port. Also, the USB 3 port provides at least 4.5 watts of power for a connected device like a camera. Since USB 3 is a network connection, hubs facilitate connection of many cameras to one computer. Using a hub and connecting multiple cameras to one USB 3 port or connecting a camera together with other peripherals to the same port lowers the available data rate for a camera and increases the latency in transferring image data. Because development of the USB 3 vision standard came after the development of GeniCam, GeniCam is required by USB 3 vision. That means that all cameras and software meeting the USB 3 vision specification must support GeniCam. USB 3 is capable of transmitting 350 megabytes per second. However, because of the way USB 3 works, using data packets and handshaking to ensure reliability, a practical upper limit on image data rate is lower than this published limit probably closer to 250 megabytes per second. Originally, USB 3 Vision was developed around the USB 3.0 specification. A new USB 3 specification, USB 3.1, also called SuperSpeed, is available and adds a bit of confusion. USB 3.1 Gen 1 is virtually identical to USB 3.0. There is no speed increase, even though it's called super speed. USB 3.1 Gen 2 doubles the USB 3 data bandwidth. USB 3 Vision Standard also applies to the USB 3.1 Gen 2, even though the availability of USB 3 Gen 2 is severely limited. The maximum cable length for USB 3 is 5 meters. Many people find that for reliable and high-speed data transmission, 3 meters is a practical limit. The USB 3 specification provides for four types of connectors. Standard A, Standard B, Powered B, and Micro B. Standard B and Powered B connectors are virtually identical. The USB 3 Vision Standard requires the use of jack screws on the connector for mechanical reliability. However, consumer grade USB 3 cables without jack screws will work. The consumer cables are not billed to the higher standards required by USB 3 Vision specification and may limit the performance of the data transfer. You can easily tell a USB 3 connector from a USB 2 connector. The USB 3 connectors all have blue plastic insulators. You may know that USB 3 devices might work on USB 2 ports, provided they do not require more than 2.5 watts of power. Obviously, though, speed will be greatly degraded. Here are the important takeaways for you as a potential user of USB 3 Vision. It's a very popular camera interface standard. There are many cameras available for use. It does not require a frame grabber, but it's very limited in its cable length. Now you know about USB 3 Vision. You could go to the next video and learn about the Coaxpress interface standard. <laughs>